Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all I have once? I am one of those melodramatic bulls neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. guys, how's it going? Magnum Highway here. Today we're going to be learning Basket Case by Green Day. Should be awesome. People who requested this are down below in the description, maybe on screen if I remember, and we'll get started right now. Okay guys, so just before I start, we're in E flat. I'll leave a link down below on how to get into that tuning. Um, this has been arranged, this arrangement is for one guitar, so there's going to be a few bits that are different to the original recording. Keep that in mind and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to play it through first and then I'm going to show you guys how to play it. Goes something like that. I don't have the recording with me now, so it might have been a little off all the bits. But yeah, it goes something like that. Check back through the quick preview. Very... That's pretty recommended to do that. So, yeah, so we're starting off with an uh, A power chord. So, a, sorry. We're starting off with an E flat power chord on the seventh fret of the A string. Don't hit this top E string. We're saving that for a later part. So, I mean, if you want. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, seventh fret on the A string. And it's a lot of off and on palm muting, so we go. I think it's like six times. I may not stick to that exactly, but that's what the tab said. Six times, so. Then we're going to uh, power chord on the second fret. This is actually a B flat. B flat power chord on the second fret of the A string. And we have three like accented bits. So we're going. Yeah, so. So we have two rhythms there. Then. Now we're going up to the 4th fret on the A string, and I'll have to play it through first, right? So that's... I think it's actually the same thing. Yep, it's actually the same rhythm. Wow, this could be really easy, so... How did I not work that out earlier? Okay, so... And it's just the same thing on fret 4 of the A string. Moving up to fret 4 on the E string. To fret 5 on the E string. Fret 7 again on the E string. A string, A string. Fret 7 on the A string. And we'll leave that part out for now. So... Here's what we got. This last power chord is a little different. It's on the seventh fret. The last bit is on the seventh fret of the E string. So I'll I'll play it through with that added bit. So. Thank you. 
Okay, so the bit that I just played is what we're going to be learning now. Um, I kind of showed you how it joined into the part that we just learned, so you should be good with that. And it starts like this. So yeah, we're on just straight palm muting. Um, yeah, no accents or anything on fret 7 of the E string. So Then we go to fret 5 on the, a, on the E string. Same thing, palm muting, no accents. So here's what we've got. That's the standard rhythm on fret 7 on the E string. Power chord, so. I think I'll take it slow with this part, so. That's the first time. The second time it does this. It does that extra bit at the end there. Okay. I'm going to play the whole thing through really slowly, and then hopefully we can move on to the next part, because it's mostly just the same rhythm. Yeah. All right. Then right after that bit, we got this. So, yeah, that bit's just standard rhythm from 5 to 7 on the E string. Now to the A string, 7... Five, seven five four. Yeah, seven five four. Fret five on the E string. To fret seven on the E string. And then we get into the which is actually pretty cool. So yeah, we're going from seven. Uh seven five four. We start strumming there. Uh, five on the E string. Seven on the E string. And then... Which... We've got a different shape here. I might put it down below if I remember. Probably not on the screen. Uh, it's a D power chord shape. The reason why I'm playing it here, Billy often... I should have really specified this at the start of the video. Organization, wow. No, so yeah, Billy often plays his chords and stuff down here. He likes to stay in these five frets. He doesn't like coming out of these five frets. I don't know if it's just his playing style, preference or anything, but that's what he likes doing. So we could play it here. But I'm pretty sure, I don't know, he just likes playing around here. If you see him playing live, that's what he's going to do. So yeah, we're going to be learning it this way, which is a power chord on the D string. Fret 2. Fret 2 on the A string. Fret 4 on the A string. Fret 2 on the A string again. So it's just 2 on the D string. 2 on the A string. Two on the D, two on the A string, fret four. Two on the, oh, wow. Four on the A string. <laughs> and two on the A string again. And now we got the outro. Here's what it should sound like. Something like that. I think I think he does that um, twice. So, yeah, um, this is different to the actual recorded version because remember, as I said at the start of the video, it's arranged for one guitar. Okay, so we're going from actually Billy. I don't know. He's got some great. He's got some great music 
theory, actually. He's using quite a bit of um, different chords here, even some augmented fifths, which is quite weird for punk, which is pretty cool. So we're just playing the bottom half of an E chord. We just take away the A string and the E string. So take away those two and we go. I'll leave, Jesus. I'll leave um, the tabs for this down below. But essentially we're just putting our um, ring finger down on the G string fret two. Sorry, that was E flat before. Um, this is D, no, it's actually C, because we're in flat tuning, so yeah, C. On fret 4 on the A string. And we're just going to this augmented fifth here, which is just a power chord. And we put our pinky, so we've got the standard power chord, and then our pinky goes to the 7th fret. This one's pretty simple. Uh, fret four on the A string. And then five. Five on the E string. Seven on the A string. And seven on the E string. So I'll play that through once. pretty sure that's it then just the last bit is which is five open seven all on the e string 